Um, if you don't me, know me, you're missing out. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm Peter McAvoy, and I'm a second year engineer. Uh, and I'm running for the role of SJCR social, social Secretary. The Social Secretary probably has one of the hardest jobs on the SJCR, having to organise and oversee events such as John's Day, Summer Ball, Billy Ball, and the Mega Formals. I believe I have the skills and qualities, uh, skills, qualities and experience to fulfil this role. Over the past year, I have been a member of the Social Events Committee. Um, I've been the publicity officer on the, on the committee, and as part of this role, I have been responsible for the John Day t-shirts, the invitations, Snapchat filters, and general publicity, such as Facebook events, for, uh, for the major events in John's. I've had such an amazing time in this role, and I would wholly recommend going for one of the jobs on the uh, SEC. Um, I want to continue on from this experience as publicities officer in taking on the role of social secretary. I'm a creative and well-organized person and have some really fun ideas for John's Day and Billy Ball, uh, for themes for John's Day and Billy Ball. Spoiler, it's transport. <laughs> <laughs> um, Amelia has done such an amazing job uh, over the past year, having run what I would say is possibly one of the best Billy Balls. Um, a lot of the success over the past year has definitely been down to her, but also comes from the hard work of the SEC team. Um, I can honestly say it has been one of my favourite things in John's this year, and I would wholly recommend going for it. And even if you decide to vote for a role, if you're a creative and fun person, um, I, I would definitely recommend running for one of the positions. Um, but that being said, if you want a Billy Ball, don't vote for a role. <laughs> Uh, I really hope you will vote for me. Uh, I believe, uh, to summarise, I have the skills and experience for this role, and I believe I would do a wonderful job uh, in it. Uh, I have some great themes in mind, and I would really appreciate your vote. Thank you very much. Um, right, do we have any questions for Peter? Gemma. Um, a large part of social sec is managing the SEC, you know, your team, effectively. Yeah. Have you got any experience of managing a team? Uh, yes. Uh, in school, I was responsible. I was one of the main leaders on the formal committee. So uh, we only had one formal committee, but uh, I oversaw uh, one of the subsections of the team. Um, I have also been involved in multiple choirs, one of which I actually directed. Um, and I also, uh, at Durham, I'm a DU cheerleader as well, uh, like I used to be. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that, that came out a bit harsher. Um, I don't really know how to speak, you got me. <laughs> Excuse me, you stepped up. But, um, so that's, that's very much a team sport, and uh, I think uh, this experience will help me in running the SEC. Fantastic. Tom Chan. Um, as um, social secretary, you want to stay sober with the president during mm -hmm. the pool. Um, what do you think about the other members of your SEC? Do you think they should be sober? Yeah. What do you so, think? I think I follow on from what Amelia did with us uh, over the past year. And what she said was, you can drink as long as you're responsible. Um, don't get too drunk, maybe have one drink. And I definitely think that uh, I, I definitely think most of the team members um, uh, followed this advice, and I, it, I think it's hard to control what people actually do. But um, I would, I think it would, I want, I would want my team to enjoy themselves. So maybe have one drink, but again, not get too out of it. Fantastic. Next question. Fraser, anything you were first? Uh, so. <coughs> sorry. Uh, ticket prices for these events are a lot higher as it is, but due to the high quality of events. But <laughs> would you like to say, <laughs> would, would you, how would you, uh, ticket prices have increased in price over the last few years? Would you continue the price, uh, ticket would continue to rise, or just to create a better event, or would you keep it as a lower price to keep the status of the same? That's a really difficult question, and it, it's hard to 
actually in. So a lot of it comes down to how much the events uh, cost to run. The events, uh, the entertainment's expensive, the food's expensive, and with inflation, they do go up with time. Um, I, in the role, I think I try as much as possible to keep it at the, at the current price, but it really depends on how much the event actually costs to run. Um, but I, I think you get your money, money's worth out of, out of the ticket. Fantastic. Jeff? Um, going back to what Joe mentioned, you will be a leader of your team, and as John's is such a small community, chances are you potentially will have friends on your mm -hmm. team as well. How would you deal with them if they weren't necessarily working as much as they should or as well as they should? How do you balance friendship and leadership? I'm not afraid to be brutal. <laughs> <laughs> um, if someone's not pulling their way, I will tell them. Um, especially when you're running such large events for the whole college. <coughs> As a member of the team, you have a lot of pressure to do a good job. So I think not having the pressure from me as well as having the pressure from your friends really makes you want to pull your weight and run a good event. Um, even if they are my friends, I'm not afraid to tell them, get your act together. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, just time for a couple more questions, Amelia. Yeah. So obviously, um, engineering for quite a lot of contact hours. Yeah. How would you balance that? Well, this year actually hasn't been that bad um, compared to last year. Uh, on Fridays, I only have three, three contact hours, which is very, it's very small for engineering. Um, next year, if it comes down to it, uh, so normally we have labs on a Friday, um, and a lot of the college events are run on Fridays. Uh, uh, I will talk to my academic supervisor about getting that changed to Thursday, so I only have one contact hour on Friday. Um, as for summer term, obviously I don't have uh, any ac academic hours, so that won't be a problem for John's then summer ball. But um, <coughs> if need be, I can shift around my time for next year. Fantastic. Just time for one more question, if there are any. But there didn't seem to be, in which case, well done, Peter. <laughs>